guys, it's Malay with Briar Home Buyers, and today we're talking about selling your house fast in Atlanta. So I know a lot of you are probably wondering like, well, what are my options? And the other half of you are probably wondering, are there any other options other than just selling it to a normal buyer? Um, and to make it short and sweet, yeah, there are other options. Um, but so first option is that you can just sell it to your normal buyer, you know, through the agent, you know, the whole old school way. Um, the only like cautionary tail that we have about that is that sometimes banks and lenders end up just, you know, changing requirements at the drop of a hat or they end up saying, you know, you didn't give us this or you didn't give us that and there's just a ton of paperwork and a lot of room for error with that way and um, when funding doesn't go through or the bank doesn't come through like it's supposed to, then your deal is paused and your house is still sitting on the market technically and um, you're still having to, you know, partake in holding costs. and. There's just a lot of room for things not to go as smoothly as you intend for it to. Um, so, you know, your other option is selling to a qualified real estate investor. Um, and the reason that that can be beneficial is that they're not always dependent on the bank. So they don't need to take out a loan a lot of the time. Um, some of them use, you know, cold hard cash and it is their cash and they will use it to purchase your house. Some of them have, you know, multiple lines of credit and they can find other ways to fund the deal. Um, some of them are in contact with private and public lenders. So there's just a ton of different ways and creative ways that they're able to make sure that they can buy your house as quickly and as efficiently as possible as opposed to going through a bank and, you know, having to correspond with them day in, day out and make sure that the bank is also on top of their stuff and every party is, it's just better off that way. Um, especially if you're looking to sell the house fast, which is the key here. Um, and the only other thing that we would like to share with you guys about working with investor is that you need to also make sure that that investor is qualified. Um, you know, there are a lot of people nowadays that talk about like, oh, I'm an investor, blah, 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 like I've done X amount of deals and whatever else, um, and really, they just watched like an HGTV episode one day and decided this is what I'm going to do with my life. So um, a couple of ways that you can make sure that you're working with a real deal investor is to one, ask for references, ask to speak with other people that they've worked with before, ask to speak with colleagues, um, other real estate investors that they deal with. And if they can't produce a single name, if they can't give you anyone to work with, I'm not really sure that that's really a good sign. Um, and the second way to kind of like protect yourself from working with fraudulent investors is sometimes you can keep the earnest money deposit that they put on your house and that's in cash. Um, then again, they might have loopholes in their contract, all that good stuff. So definitely talk with an attorney about that. Uh, always cover your butt if at all possible. Um, but yeah, and so, I know a lot of you are probably thinking like, well, that's a lot to think about. That's kind of scary to go that route. But honestly, it's not as bad as it seems. There are a ton of great and trustworthy investors um, in the greater Atlanta area. And if you are looking to get a fast cash offer uh, today, you know, you can contact us. The link is below. You can fill out the form and all that good stuff. And we'll be more than happy to work with you, provide you with references, credentials and all that good stuff. So yeah. Talk to you next time. Bye.